everyone. Hi, my name is Noor Adriana Binti Alias. I'm a degree in biology student, part 6, from group IS201631. Hello guys, let's learn animal behavior. Hi peeps, how is everyone doing during RDL? Hope everyone's doing great. So, our topic for today is Mating systems which includes monogamy, polygyny, polyandry, promiscuity, and polygamy. However, I will only discuss about polygyny and polyandry. What is polygyny? Polygyny is when males control access to more than one female. There are three types of polygyny which are resource defense polygyny, female defense polygyny, and male dominance polygyny. Females' choice of male influence by quality of male and his territory. Intense competition results among males and there is large variance in male reproductive success. Males display and advertise courtship signals. Then, what is polyandry? Females control access to more than one male. Polyandry are divided into two types which are resource defense polyandry and also female access polyandry. As for example, marmoset, pipefish, and honeybees, which one female of one species mating with two or more males. Females control access to more than one male because females invest in eggs at seed that of male sperm. Polyandry is rare. Females provide parental care while territories are small, while females have super territories that may encompass the nesting areas of several males. Mating systems are related to resource distribution. They use different reproductive tactics. Parental care varies in the animal kingdom and increases as the complexity of the organism increases. Stable condition promotes production of small number of young that receive extensive care and have low mortality rates that is case selected. Have tendency to large body size, slower development, longer lifespan and having young at intervals that is heteroparity as compared to all at once that is semi-parity. Intraspecific competition is intense and emphasis is on high quality of spring rather than high quantity. Species adapted to fluctuating environments have high reproductive rates, rapid development, small body size and need little parental care. Population controlled by physical factors and mortality is high, that is R selected. So, R is reproductive rate. Parental care evolved in the sex that is most closely associated to the embryos, where eggs are fertilized internally. Evolution of embryo retention and life birth, followed by further care of the young by the mother. Eggs are laid and fertilized externally in a male's territory. The male becomes closely associated and additional parental care is likely. Internal fertilization favors female care and external favors male care. Species with internal fertilization and rare sperm competition takes place, the male might be inclined to desert and seek additional mates. The female is confident of her genetic relationship to the offspring, so she invests further. Then, males make no investment in offsprings as they try to copulate with females. One problem for parents that care for the young is how to recognize them. Mechanisms of recognition should evolve to prevent misdirecting parental care towards non-relatives. The cues vary between taxonomic groups. 